Okay, everyone, it's me, Jedi Kikami, and welcome back to some Final Fantasy 16. Let's go. What map? Where? Where am I? Oh yeah. Who knows that? No idea. A leech. I didn't actually move quite as hard, but oh well. Untouchable. I believe there's some bounty hunts I still need to do. And one side quest, but I can't do that side quest until I rest the main story. So, um. Ow. You're you? Let's rest. we dim. This one. Uh, I believe this is the right way. Local map. Shop for your local map. Possibly down here. Didn't mean to aggro them at all. Run, Clive, run. We gotta go faster. I had a good birthday on Friday. Work it, but here's your eat. Run like the wind. 
Run, Ambrosia. Well, this is a nice location. There's a green. Nice sunset coming up. Or horizon. View. Open space. Defo for a boss fight. Straight home now. Start with thunder. Hmm. Oh, big dragon. Svarok. S rank. Got up money. Isn't to be trifled with. I like trifles. Yeah. Oh. Holy shiza balls! He's tough. Should have bought patience. See if he likes this.
Let's get him down. Sorry about not talking so much. Just to focus. I'm like nearly dead. Yeah, boy. Hey, he's over half health left. Just under half. Okay. Come on, boy. your pattern down mate you're not hitting me anymore and then I'm bringing you down Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby! There's a rebirth. I think we're going to get him. Oh, he dodged that entire thing. Him. Oh, we finished it, Ramu. We got the dragon. Oh, man. <sighs> That's so good. And we leveled up. Level 40. Ooh. Rare material. Trade for Gil. Definitely not to be trifled with. Definitely not. Let's head back to um the hideaway and uh, hand it in. See how much we can get for it. Don't know. Was that all the hunter's mark that we need to do as of yet? Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Didn't mean to do that, I meant to hit Bunter's board. Oh, there's some packs of dogs to kill. Okay. Clive. Godspeed. Yeah. Huh? Godspeed. Speed and Godspeed we Welcome back, Sid. Shout if you need to. I could do better than that. Let's order a round for everyone. <sighs> Don't be a stranger, Sid. You look like you could do with a drink. That's what we like to hear. Everyone, sits by in. Yeah, 10,000 deal. Oh, keep 
keep your mug handy. <laughs> Let yeah, me tell I suppose you, you want Clive. Nah. Okay. All right. This is new. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me, I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition, I sold to him and he's alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. I was listening. That there are. Pardon me. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. <laughs> all I wanted to do was sell some stuff, Karen. Don't want an autobiography. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. It's a joke. <laughs> Aye. It is. Oh, just made all that money back. <laughs> mm. What do you want? That it? Fine. What I want is to kill these wolf things and then. Yeah. South of Talibor. Talibor. Yeah, where's that? Let me go here first. Let's see where this takes us. We need to go continue our quest area anyway. Well, it seems a bit so. Let's just head here. We need to go down this path, so. Mate, it makes sense. Continue some of the story. And we'll get to our hunt. We'll get to our quarry. Just ride, Ambrosia. Fly, Ambrosia. 
Fly like the winds. I'm stuck. There we go. Ba da 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 da. La da di di di. But I can ignore these guys as well. Excuse me, coming through. Don't need you. Those guys got lightsabers. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Ha. Huh. But with better manners. Wounded Republican soldier. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Damn. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. Mm -hmm. We can't let those monsters reach the... Go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Uh, we'll help him out. Save those people. Is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. Prioritize quest. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Oh, I bet they're still Another there. Ether flood. They're mm. everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Right. Go here in time. Seven Fratch Chuckabo. Hmm. We got Someone him. there! Mm hmm. Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Your 
the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others... Taken dead? care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> tell me. His wounds were too deep. He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Thanks. <laughs> We saved the day. You seem familiar. Have we met? <clears throat> you must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That skull. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Oh. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, Come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing yeah. like you. Oh. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. I'm sure you will. <laughs> it's not gonna change the fact that you're gonna lose. Thank you for the supplies. Faster. Right. That was good. Right, let's make the tail table. Oh well. Do do da 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 da. Tabor. There are a few places I haven't. State your business. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here. We've made it. Where Tabor. now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. What is it you seek to buy, my dear friend? Um, I would like to buy. Six hypo. Anything else? Four. A fine three. choice. Take care. Mm hmm. Dagger. Let's go.
My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? Yeah, elaborate. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and mm. enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. <laughs> I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, mm -hmm. I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you? Oh, someone just died. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? Not me. The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, <laughs> fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons. Yeah. 
Enough. Worthy of salvation. Odin be insane. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Ooh. Yeah. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Oh. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based mm. on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Wants you, Clive. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That the rain over. The center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension, the Barbies, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. <laughs> Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. <laughs> Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omielos Delan to Isag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to. As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If. if that is your wish, Your Grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I. You have my word. Kiss her. No, not on the forehead. She wants it on the lips. Oh, well. Farewell, my lord. My lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Sad. She loves him. 
Let's find our friends. Hmm. <clears throat> It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind. Put it in spook dishes. Cyril, how fares the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes, Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship. Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged Hello, with Cyril. chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Oh, nice. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. Good. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. <laughs> but you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Hmm. Pray accept this token. Ooh. See, you accept the Phoenix now. For as <laughs> long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a Phoenix down. <laughs> oh, brilliant. We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed very... Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. No use calling Ambrosia now. If you say that, but we're going to call them anyway. Hmm. Oh, here. Come on. So what happens if I go this way? Another bit of all. Stand a chance. Fly, Ambrosia. Guess it's going to be a lot more orcs in the way.
They didn't stand Clive. chance of us, Morpa. Smoke. Oh no, is the city fallen? Possibly by orcs. Not good. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. Thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. <laughs> Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Uh hey? Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm not crying, you are. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Good old Mid. Think I can trouble. manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. 
That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. <laughs>